Oh, you're a... No! <laughs> two days ago, two days ago, I got a bunch, a bunch of direct hit footage. I got like four hours of direct hit footage all in one fucking sitting. And then I put it into Sony Vegas and I'm I'm going through it. And it is so choppy. It is fucking unusable. It's just like, goes for five seconds, stutter. Go for five seconds, stutter. Go for five seconds, stutter. Consistently throughout the entire thing. Fucking unusable. Or, or like, I was going to be talking about like, oh man, when you fucking hit someone with the direct hit air shot and you get that mini crit on them, it's like, Damn, there's there's no way they're gonna be surviving that. And then I do that on a vaccinator medic. It does like 23 damage to him because a fucking course it does. And I just get all pissed about that. And that was gonna be a joke in the video. And now it can't be. Unless I run into that exact same situation again. Like infinite range damage over time stun is just the worst thing ever. I don't know whose idea that was. I want them to be fucking court martialed. Panic attack combo would have been good if it wasn't a random crit. He was at one health anyway. That That is the random crit that has mattered the least in the history of all random crits. Fucking short circuit, man. Those guys were acting like bots. You know how bots do that thing where they like clump up together? That's like the, what they were doing. At least I don't have to do yet another spy video. What? Also, are you real? What? What? What was any? Hold on. Hold. I'm. That's also a really good shotgun. What the fuck? Um, I'm so confused by that because I saw the sniper and he had like red footprints and I thought he was a spy. And then my rocket jump was weird because I think it felt like I collided into someone. And then I thought the Pyro was a spy? I was very confused by all that. I'm not going to 2 Fort. I don't I don't go to 2 Fort for my fucking my clips. That's like going to Applebee's for food. There it goes. <laughs> nice. Damn! With the crossbow. Shit. Please charge at me, come on. Well, he kinda did. Ah, damn it. What did all that damage- How are we losing? That was the shortest fucking round of powerhouse I've ever seen! The, the, the fucking top scorer has four points! Okay, you're- <laughs> I meant to do that. That was intentional. Oh, if I hit that! Okay, that... That is not the clip I needed, but it's... That, 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 that's not the clip I needed, but it's the clip I wanted deep in my soul. I don't want to fabricate it, I just don't. If I fabricate the clip, then it's just like... Then I end up in that situation where I feel, I feel like Soundsmith ended up in his Huntsman video, where it's just like, all the clips of the rifle snipers doing really, really well were fabricated. It's like, huh? What does that say about the point you're trying to make about, about rifle sniper? So if I have to fabricate this footage, it's like, what is the point you're making about the vaccinator if you have to fabricate the footage? And then it's like, in the fucking behind the scenes shit for the Huntsman video, like, I felt so vindicated in, like, the point I made about how people just don't fucking, like, like how people complain more about the rifle than the Huntsman these days, even though the stereotype used to be the complete other way around. I felt so vindicated about that because he could not get one motherfucker to complain about the Huntsman. And at that point, I'm just like, why even put it in the video? If the stereotype is wrong, then rewrite the script. That's just straight up not how people think anymore. But you've created a straw man to, I don't know, make the Huntsman look better? I don't know. I am one man with, with nary a medic to my name. Why are you like this? Why is this?
Medic is running at a fucking pyro jetpacking like 75 feet away while their medic is at our spawn spawn camping with a fucking nail gun! No, he's running that way and you're a spy and you're also a spy because of course you are. What else do I have to worry about? Zesty Jesus and South Myth are like the two furthest fucking people I can like imagine from each other. And yet the thing they have in common is they're both gingers from Texas and they both really fucking hate Sniper. Oh my lord. Please. That's so cool. You're- you're- Both of your weapons heal you, by the way, but you really needed that health pack more than I did. Again, the Orb of Confusion. Whenever scouts see a direct hit soldier, they get- they get affected by the Orb of Confusion. Medic, why are you suicidal? Like, look at you! Look at you running ahead of me! And- and just- look at him! Look at him fucking go! Man on a mission! He is the combat class, apparently. That's his job. I'm so surprised and upset that you lived that. Med AGAIN! Like, this is debilitating. This is stage 4 poo brain. I'm... I'm 31 different flavors of upset right now, man. 33, 32, you know, fuck it, 33. That, that, that counts for two. <laughs> Med down. I don't see their vaccinator medic, which makes me a little upsetty. I tried to get the fucking... Wait, I lived that. What the fuck? Oh, please, just... Uh... YES! Yeah, 28 fucking damage on a direct hit mini crit air shot. <laughs> By the way, that one did 181! Millennial Mercenary looks like a working beat, Nick Lodutz. I don't care. By the sheer principle of this is based on a Wojak, this is the worst cosmetic in the game. And it can only be beaten out by something that is similarly based on a Wojak. Or some even worse meme. Like, hey, remember the Nerd Emoji Scout cosmetic that I poured water on my head over? And everyone was like, Fish, you're overreacting. When is the last time you thought about that meme? Time has passed. And you know what? I don't think time's been kind to the meme. <laughs> oh, predicted. The Rothschild summoning one Pyro who knows how to air blast. The instant. The instant I get an Uber on me. Who did I hit? Was that a Pyro? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh no! He got me with the bison. I know that scout's still around here. Ah, oh, jeez. No, I'm fucking dead. I'm gonna die now. I am gonna die. Ah! Oh! I don't understand snipers, man. If I'm at less than 59 health, and I'm continuing to snipe, like, why? What is wrong with me? Oh! <laughs> why did I join the Chuckle Nuts? Um, mostly just because they kind of asked. Oh! <laughs> oh, I wish I hit it. This pyro has wicked poop brain, dude. 
Like he just jumps and walks forward. Just jump, jump and walk. They call me Jump and Shoot Man. Matt, I, I have dudes. If you will enhance my shoots, please. And here come the scouts, because they got like 10 of them. John donated $5. Skin or meat? What does that mean? What did you mean by this? What insidious plan can this lobotomite have brewing in its horrid mind? What commie anti-American propaganda will he spew? I want to kill myself. Okay. I'm the sniper now. I think I got all I needed. 10,000 damage! It'll give you such an ache in the back. All right, last chance. You guys get one more chance. 27? Okay. Uh. Oh my god. Okay, 27 was a good pick. Is that Strange Factory new? Oh, the twofer. <laughs> Claymore fun. Would you rather live in an area where every server is overrun by bots? Or live in an area where all of the 10,000 hour spy mains live? There he is. A third of a million. <laughs> Exploded. Like the conceit behind Suicide Squad as an IP, just based on everything I've seen, seems to be, hey, wouldn't it be wild if Harley Quinn was really fucking annoying all the time? Don't you want to see that, like, over and over again? Death. Yeah, hopefully my Widowmaker training is, uh, working out for me. Teleporter? No? Okay. That- that- Please? Thank you, Cracker. You're one of the good ones. One of the good Crackers. Companies would really rather you don't own their products. Which is one of the things about streaming services, right? Like... Streaming services started out as just this means of, first of all, competing with places like Blockbuster by providing a better service than than Blockbuster ended up providing. Because just like, oh, hey, you don't have to leave the house anymore. It was all in, in service of convenience for the customer. And now it's just completely anti-consumer because... Because now there's so many streaming services and all this stupid bullshit that you just don't own anything anymore. Which is obviously really bad for things like uh, physical preservation of, of media in general. And like they're really going mask off and saying the quiet part out loud lately with like Ubisoft basically saying as much like, Hey, you guys should be, you guys should be way more comfortable with the idea of just not owning your games. Just fucking saying that shit out loud and it's just like, wow. You guys just don't give a shit anymore, huh? Like, they're the canary in the coal mine who's saying the stupid shit right now that every company already believes. Every company already believes exactly what Ubisoft is saying. It's just that they're, they're smart enough to not say it out loud. Not yet, anyway, until the culture has changed so much around these anti-consumer practices that they're just seen as completely normal. You can say that that ne you you can hope that never happens, but it happened with microtransactions and battle passes and games just being completely broken on launch. Like it's happening already, and hey, it's definitely happened in regards to uh, games being outright killed. A game that you buy with your own money can no longer be yours if the company decides to just like shut down the central servers to it, and now you can never play it again. And people just see this as like a completely normal thing, an unavoidable thing even. Even though the only reason it happens to begin with is that the company arbitrarily decides to make, like, 
local hosting not an option or ties a game that could be just as easily a single player game to a central server for no fucking reason. Oh no! <laughs> I should have seen that coming. Um, black! Oh jeez. <laughs> Calculated. Intended. Okay, you know what? Everyone using the beggar's bazooka these days, they always use it the same way. They just use it to tap fire. I don't know if anyone has gone from, like, full beggar's bazooka clip size maxing since MVM came out. Oh, and tap firing is the only way to play beggar soldier. <laughs> Damn. I don't know, man. Clip clip size maxing. What a what? A, there's an achievement for. I'm gonna sneeze again. Always. It has to happen until I sneeze off my headphones. Yeah, I, I have to say, like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, and then my friends come up and they, like, like, hold their fingers over my nose, and then I'm like, ah, uh. and then right when they think that the sneeze has passed over, that's when I say, ha-choo! And that's when I alert all the guards or wake up all the, the scary monsters we're trying to sneak past in this stealthy situation. Little, little goober creatures. They think they can defeat me. Oh, jeez. I was very nearly sentry busted there. Wee. We call that one the Sputnik. Any breakfast with French toast in it is a good breakfast as far as I'm concerned. Also, how do you guys feel about bacon? Like, I don't like bacon when it gets, like, super, super crispy. I'm not a fan of that. Because I was talking about this with some of my friends, and... One of my friends agree with me that you have to get, like, that 50-50, that right? It's gotta be, like, a 50-50 split between, like, the crunch and, and the chew. You don't want it to be super chewy, like, to the point where it's basically just fucking raw, because that's nasty. But you want it to be, like... You want it to be just right. And generally speaking, I'm pretty good at getting it to be, like, just right. Ed! <laughs> Fuck spy. Ah, uh, like I feel like the people who like really, really crunchy bacon are the same people who like totally burnt marshmallows, like burnt black to a crisp. All H Bomber guy had to do with internet historian is say he plagiarized this script. Here is my evidence. That is a bad thing. But he had to fucking go and basically just say this guy and all of his fans are Nazis because he made fun of Tumblr in a video once. All, like, Internet Historian's fans are going to... Are, are gonna glean from that is... Oh, you're implying that, like, I'm a Nazi because I like Internet Historian? Well, I'm not a Nazi. So fuck you. You're just some fucking lefty bread tuber. I don't give a shit about what you have to think, and I'm gonna keep watching him now to spite you. <laughs> yeah, it just makes it seem like... H-Bomber guy is just out for blood. He doesn't actually care about the plagiarism thing. It's just like, oh. Internet historian is someone that, like, I, I dislike on a personal level for my own personal reasons. And therefore, he must be destroyed. Oh, yeah. I, I also like the fact that he called out Internet historian for having troll's remorse. When if you look up troll's remorse in the fucking dictionary, H-Bomber guy's picture is just, like, the first thing that shows up. H-Bomber guy is a fucking snake. He makes a good video every now and again, but god damn it, I hate the man. Like, viscerally, I, I cannot fucking stand H-Bomber guy. And him giving Hassan a free pass for his particular brand of content theft, and asking pretty please am I allowed to make a the tiniest, most harmless joke about you ever in my shitty fucking video is just like, dude, you're... You're the most spineless motherfucker that's ever existed. No, I can... Uh, listen, I can tell. What? What the fuck was that? He left! What happened? What? 
he's a trash guardian. It's 2024. What? Why did that not work? If I had hit you, it would have worked. Where did all that? That must have been a body shot, right? Ah, oh, shit. Metal pack. See that? <laughs> See how good that was? I... <laughs> On today's episode of I Shouldn't Be Alive, a hydraulic penis? Would you even be able to feel it? Like, what if you get the hydraulic penis surgery, but then it turns out that you just- you, you can't feel it anymore. You are now permanently ribbed for her pleasure. But at what cost? Your humanity. Your dignity. Me getting a prosthetic colon so that I can eat cheese without having to go to the bathroom. I made myself a milkshake yesterday, and I went to the bathroom, I want to say like five or six times as a result of it. It was worth it though. What? Who did I- I killed the spy?! What spy?! Like, the, the turning is tied to your frame rate. Because... I genuinely don't know how the fuck some people just, like, turn really easily with the booties. And they're not using the tide turner. Bind? I don't know. R. Plus left. Because I never pressed the R key anyway. That's so stupid! That is dumb! That's retarded! <laughs> Just a little left tap there. Oh, come on! Oh, right as I'm charging away. That was good, though. Isn't it cool? How Minecraft makes all these changes in service of, or like, all these changes or all of these, like, little... These little arbitrary restrictions on what can and can't be added to the game based on th this baseline of morality. And yet, the dominant strategy for automizing, like, automating as much shit as humanly possible is just to have slaves... Slaves! We can't do all this fun shit. We can't add sharks to the game, because that would encourage players to kill or interact with sharks in real life. Now go start your, your breeding camp and slave farm. They don't want to add purely decorative stuff like vertical slabs onto the game because it would never stop at just that. I kind of don't give a shit. You have a Lego- You decided you're gonna make a fucking Lego game. Give us Legos. Learned Minecraft modding just to remove that stupid anvil accumulative cost thing. I can't, I genuinely can't believe that is still in the game. That is seriously just the worst thing. That is arguably the worst thing in all of Minecraft. That is such a bad feature that mending is now basically required to exist. Like the fact that every single enchantment you make is basically just a big dice roll. That's part of what makes li librarian villagers so sought after and like easily the most powerful ones. And here's the thing, librarian villagers still suck. It still sucks to have to slap down a lectern and then break it and then slap it down again and break it again over and over and over and over and over and over and over until you get the exact enchantment you want. But it's still better than rolling a fucking slot machine 
and wasting your levels and having to go in and fucking go to your mob grinder or whatever and grind for more levels and the whole librarian lectern replacement thing is just a stupid annoying tedious mechanic that exists solely to replace another stupid annoying tedious mechanic that has barely been updated at all i mean okay i i, I can't i can't be too rude after all enchantments did used to be even worse remember when you had to pay 50 full levels just to get a single enchantment on anything no garbage guarding for you I hate, I absolutely fucking hate the changes they made to combat in the combat update. I hate it so much. Because think about when they changed bows back in, in, the, in the beta 1.8 adventure update. Anyone who's been around for Minecraft beta will remember the days of machine gun bows, right? It wasn't just we made bows fire slower. We also made them stronger as a result. So it's a, it's a trade-off. We didn't just make bows worse. In a lot of ways, we made them better, especially because now you have enchantments that you can add to them. All that good shit. Like, we, we, we streamlined bow combat a lot more and made them more worth using than they were before, despite the slower speed. The combat update just made combat slower. That is all it did. In fact, I'm pretty sure it actually made your sword attacks deal less damage. And we'd already had enchantments by that point in the game, so we didn't get anything out of it. It was, like, it was just an experience that made combat slower and worse for no benefit to the player, except we got, like, sword slashes out of it, which didn't even get the sweeping edge enchantment until, like, two updates later. I don't find the 1.9 combat fun. Because again, you don't get anything out of it. You don't get anything out of it that you didn't get from spam clicking. It's just slower. It's not even harder. Because the mobs are still too stupid to do anything about it. It is just slower. I think that the mobs, the basic mobs especially, need a massive buff. Because as long as you get, like, a shield and some iron armor, you're basically good to go for, like, 99% of the game. Like, sprinting has removed a lot of the threat that older mobs used to have. Because you couldn't just, like, sprint away from a skeleton's arrows. You couldn't just sprint away from a spider, and spiders were faster than your basic walking speed. Like, zombies, I think, would benefit a lot from potion effects being utilized. Like... I think that should be the threat with zombies, is they're, they're slow and they're not going to hit you often, but when they do, it's pretty punishing. Because think about zombies in every game ever. What do they do? In zombie media, like, bites are infectious. Like, imagine if a zombie bite just took you down to the point where you couldn't sprint anymore. And also poisoned you. Like, they're still, they're still easy to deal with, but getting hit by one of them is going to fuck your day up. The desert zombie just inflicts hunger. I'm saying that they should buff the fuck out of that and apply it to all zombies. You shouldn't have to go to a desert just to make zombies mildly more threatening. That's stupid. I just think that if they took your hunger down really fucking far instantly, then that just takes away all of your strength. You, you don't automatically regenerate health anymore you can't sprint away anymore it's like fuck 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 like the interest with the changes that i would like to see for minecraft is not to turn it into some completely different fucking game but i want to like take the systems it has that works and expand upon them and make them better I i'm right there with everyone who voted for the sniffer it easily sounded like the best option Because we didn't know what those those special plants would be. What might it what what could it be? It could be anything. Like new plants being added to Minecraft, it could be anything. Maybe it's some kind of new sapling for a new wood type. Maybe like an Arucaria tree, because you know, the sniffer is a prehistoric animal. That that that, that fits with the theme, you know? Maybe it's some kind of new flowering or fruiting plant. And, like, what you can harvest off of that will give you a new potion ingredient. Maybe it's, e maybe it's even just a new food source. Maybe just that. Maybe that's, all, maybe that's all it is. Maybe that's all it needs to be. 
It's nothing. It's nothing. It is literally just decorative fucking flowers that don't do anything. It could have been anything. And it was nothing. J.J. Abrams? I, I don't know, man. That's more of a Ryan Johnson move if you, if you think about it. Oh my god, the sniffer is the fucking... <laughs> it's the parable. It is the parable of The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. When we first heard about it, it's like, oh my god. It could be anything. And then when the actual update came out, oh, it's nothing. <laughs> On today's episode of I Shouldn't Be Alive. The Wandering Trader is such... Such a good example of wasted potential. This mysterious little goober who only ever spawns every once in a while. But you're pretty much guaranteed to find him when he does. W what does he sell you? I mean, his whole purpose is selling you stuff. What does he sell? Oh, uh, nothing. It's garbage. It, it is worthless garbage. It is garbage that is only useful if you're playing Skyblock. He's like, hey, you want some... <laughs> hey, kids, you want some pods all? Wanna... You want some moss? I I got some moss here. I got to I got to get those kids hooked on the moss. Hey kids, the first moss is free. Like hey, we don't want to encourage people to kill sharks or approach them if we made them like, you know, neutral or friendly or whatever. So, naturally, we're going to take an animal that actively views humans as a food source and put it in as neutral. It's just shit. It's not going to kill you. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Persian Persuader. Heavy does not feel right. 